The drawbacks and limitations of this, the conventional disc, have long been recognised. It is, after all, made of a fairly soft substance, plastic, and that needle, well, that's diamond, one of the hardest substances. So every time you play it, it degenerates in quality. Then, of course, handling it like this does it no good at all. And there's always the danger that a wrong alignment or, or tracking will completely ruin it. The compact disc, on the other hand, well, none of these things should normally happen. Its signal is totally encapsulated in plastic. But the big gamble for the manufacturers, that's Philips and Sony, is this the new player on which to use the compact disc. It'll cost you, well, the best part of 500 pounds. The compact disc has no grooves. Signal is digitally coded in a series of minute dimples under the protective plastic surface. They're scanned at high speed by a laser beam and interpreted by a whole series of logic circuits. As there's no playing arm to jump, you can, if you really feel the need, turn the machine on its side while it's running. And that feature is expected to lead on to in-car CD players.